Hello there, everybody. This is See What the Plan One here, and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV, attempt number five. Are my levels high enough now? Anyway, last time we made it to the lunar core, where we found here Gobez and Fusoya are fighting Zemus as we speak, and now we must go help them. But before we do items, of course. Unfortunately, I wasted my last dry ether trying to cure up Rosa after the whole fiasco of me failing at attempt number four so badly. But I feel everyone is okay enough to survive one of the deadliest deadlies known to mankind. And I don't care if, like, Rydia, Rosa, and, uh, someone are, like, low on magic. I don't care. All I know is all of them can survive that one attack now, so that's good. Anyway, whenever you are ready, go up to this square. Go Bez! Fusoya! For the fifth time. Hey, seriously, I've been doing this five times and oh my god, Go Bez is Sprite, dude. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, remember when we were fighting him at the uh, Dwarf Castle? Well, he was definitely much bigger than that, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Okay, Gobez is so tiny. But yeah, I say for the fifth time because, like... Because... Well, you'll see why. You will see. Almost! Put all your power into Medio! Right! Use it all! All your energy! Holy crap. Even if my body dies, my soul is immortal. It's over. What a tragedy. He had such fantastic powers, but he was consumed by evil. Yahoo! Oh, you came! And here I am, all pumped up to fight that bastard. Ah oh, well, can't be breaking a sweat in front of the ladies. Uh-huh. Sure. I am pure darkness, augmented by Zemus's hatred. My name is Zeromus. I am hatred! Zemus, death only increased his hate! Zemus, no, Zeromus, you will meet your end by my hands! Be gone, Zeromus! Holy crap, he got ugly! Oh my god! And of course, because they are all people of the moon, uh, Zeromus can absorb Meteo, great. And of course, when they are summoning Medio, they don't die. That's cool. Alright, time to use that crystal thing. Wait, where'd you get that? If one who chose the path of darkness were to use the crystal, it would fail to shine. Only return to the darkness. Die! I actually said that darkness line right, actually. Yeah, crap. Ow. Suffer! Perish! Until everything is destroyed. My hatred will continue. Now you, come into my eternal darkness.
Oh no! They're... They're gonna die! Everyone! Now the time has come for us to pray for them. No, we must pray for the Earth! Pelham, Porum, we must send our prayers to Cecil! Sir Cecil, show us true courage. We're all waiting for you! Come back alive! The Earth fights for the Earth! Stand up to him! We're also praying for you. Thank you, random maidens. Thank you. Hang in there, bud. Mr. Cecil, everyone! Moon! Receive our prayers! Go, Bez! Cecil, t take this. You use it. And now, with all my hatred throughout these past attempts, Zeromus, I will destroy you! Oh dear god, what the heck is that thing? Well, I don't know, but the music is pretty awesome. So here we are, the incredibly tough final battle. I don't even know if I'm ready for this. And I know I'm not. But whatever, I'll try. Because there is no try. There is only do. So, here's what you need to do with everybody in a nutshell. Cecil, just keep on attacking. Edge, throw shit. Kane, jump on shit. Rosa, Cure. And Rydia, try to keep an influx of sylphs on the line, just in case. Because sylphs are really good things for you to have. So what he just did right there was his ultimate attack, Big Bang. Which does anywhere between like the range of 1500 and like, uh, uh, something hundred. 2600. So that's why I highly, highly recommend that you at least have your guys' health at about, like, level 
like levels high enough just so that you have over 25 uh well, I, I mean 2700 hp just so you know they can actually survive the big bangs and that's why you want to input your commands as fast as you can because putting in commands in a fast manner is a very good thing for you to do also keep around those really powerful weapons that you discard in the inventory for edge to throw like the Avenger and the Excalibur for Edge. Well, that's basically for them to throw. And... Now let me actually... Uh, what should I throw next? Eh, whatever. I'll do the Hellwind Shurikens. Why not? So, yeah. Just keep an influx of HP going with everybody and you'll be okay to have. Oh, and also, Big Bang has another added effect. And that basically is that um, it casts sap also. So that's why the HP is going down too. So I'm going to try to keep... I'm going to try as hell as much as I can to keep Rosa alive. But it's not a bad idea for you to, for you to do something to the effect of... Um, uh, what? What was it? What was that I was going to say? <laughs> It's not a bad idea to you to cast your to summon Ashura as well. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, but here's the important thing: you want to keep Rosa alive because Rosa is going to be your most important party member to have in this fight because she can cure, and curing is awesome. And it's not a bad idea for you to actually. Uh, no, I do not want. Don't want. Um. Also, what I'm not doing is, uh, I'm actually, I'm actually refraining for once in my life to cast Slow. Because, yes, Slow is helpful against Zeromus because it stacks. But, it's gotta be more killed. I swear. But no way do I want to attack with Rosa. I'm going to just go ahead and heal up everything so that I can keep on throwing those things. Alright. Alright. Now, I'm not worried about Kane because Kane can survive another Big Bang. And stuff. In fact, everyone's, like, attacking a lot more easier now. I guess it's the high levels. But yeah, I'm, I might have gone a bit overboard. <laughs> I might have gone a bit overboard with levels, but I don't care. This fight is... Uh, it's like... Okay, so... This fight kind of pisses me off for like a, for, like, a few reasons. One, because it's very hard. Two, or maybe it's just me, I don't know, but... This fight is, like, really hard for me, and I don't know why. Maybe it's just because I'm not good at games. <laughs> but I'm- but it's- but it's a Nintendo game, of course I'm gonna be good at it, but nope. I'm not. I'm not gonna be good at Nintendo games forever. <laughs> But, uh, with Rydia, let me actually get off in a Shura, because I really need it. Alright, I'll have Kane jump again, because Kane is pretty much just gonna be jumping all over the place. Okay, good. Have it go on Rosa. Because she can survive that. And let's actually get off in a Shura. Even though Cure 4 would be most helpful indeed. You know, just to heal up some extra HP. Which HP I don't really need, but heh. Whatever. Alright, let's see. And it doesn't work. Okay. Sure. Have have Ashura be a pussy against Zeromas here. Okay. Keep that influx of HP going. And keep those commands prompt and ready. Now I'm actually gonna summon Bahamut here because I wanna keep an influx of damage too. All right, so it's a fight, and Kane jump, and Edge just, just throw, just throw. Yeah, I'm doing like 3,000 plus damage on everything. And you know what? This would actually be a really good time to cast a Berserk onto Cecil, because I'm not going to have him do anything, except fight. And probably the occasional, uh, you know, <laughs> the occasional Phoenix down. But yeah, if Rydia doesn't survive this, I'm gonna flip a stick. And she does. Neato. 
All right. So I'm keeping a good thing going. All right. So get off an elixir onto. Yeah, that didn't work at all. Yeah. And oh, I'm actually almost done. Okay. So when he's casting Meteo, that means he's almost done. All right. Come on. Keep a good thing going. Keep a good thing going. Let's do this. Come on. Come on. Yeah, one's Whisper. Okay, we got that. Okay, good. By the way, this music is freaking awesome. Go check out the Black Mages version of this, too. And also the Super Smash Flash version, because... That's another reason why I chose this version to play instead of the, uh... DS version, because this one is, like, less superior. <laughs> no, not this one. Uh, the DS version... DS version's, uh, boss music for this is... Not really that the best in the world, but hey. What's got Yeah! Suck it! Suck it, Jeromas! Okay. <laughs> yeah! You are dead, son! Five attempts! Five freaking attempts! And you will die by my hand! Ah! Freaked out a bit, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, seriously, you will not know how much hell I've been through, like, these past four attempts. Like, seriously. I died so much at this boss fight that I, I had no choice but to level up like crazy. Which, level 60 is the recommended, uh, fighting for, for uh, this fight, but God! This fight is just too hard. This is like the hardest boss fight in, in like any RPG I've ever played. I will not perish as long as evil lurks in the hearts of men. Man, that scream really took it out of me. Ah, okay. I can calm down easily now. <laughs> Incredible! To think you had all that much power. The blue planet has evolved so much while we've been asleep. Ha! <laughs> to hear Rydia talk, I should be the missing link. But those final words that Zeromus left. As long as evil hearts still exist. Everyone holds both good and evil in his soul. Just like there are crystals of light and darkness. Evil will never disappear. But as long as humans continue to band together. Cherishing the ideals of virtue, trust, and honor. It will never triumph. Preach on, brother. I make it my personal responsibility to be a bastion of virtue. <laughs> I like how he does a little wait there. Bastion of Virtue? What the hell are you talking about? It's almost a miracle that someone like you didn't get possessed by Zemus. <laughs> this pretty face? Evil? That'd be a crying shame. At least the blue planet will be lively with you two around. I'm calling it right now. In the after years, they are together. Calling it. I've never played that before. Now, I must return to my sleep. What will you do? We're going to return to our world. Everyone's waiting for us. I see. You have wonderful friends. I look forward to meeting with your people again. May I... May I go with you? You? Yes. I can't go back. Not after what I've done. And I like to also meet my father's people. I see. You also have Lunarian blood flowing in your veins. But it will be a long sleep. 
I know. Brother. I see. I'm not worthy to be called your brother. I caused you so much pain back then. I was arrogant, merciless, unforgiving. I... Now I stand before you, a broken, defeated, repentant man. Maybe I can comfort the aching in my soul and sleep. We must go now. I pray for peace on the blue planet. Come! We must go! Yes. Cecil? Cecil, forgive him as you did me. He's your brother! Farewell. Oh my god, I'm actually getting feels for this. C Cecil! Uh, what was that? What was that? Uh, what was that? C Farewell, brother. Thank you. Cecil. By the way, the rest of these credits are automatic. Alright, today's topic of today's lesson is blah blah blah. Have you been practicing your teleport spell? Yes, sir. What about your Dijon spell, Palum? Palum? Not again. Yeah, these things are going way too fast. Oh, hello. Well then, I single-handedly killed the teeming hordes of undead at Mount Ordeals, as you can imagine. I was tired, but no rest for the wary. Cecil needed me to call my blizzard spell and blah 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 blah. Oh my god. What do you say we find a quieter place where I can show you something <laughs> equally impre- Oh god. Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> if only they kept that put done. You put dirt it, little boy! I was just going to show her, uh, my fire rod! Ew! Just for that, you're not gonna- uh, You're getting that in class. I think Porn was like to smack him. How many times do I have to tell you not to skip lessons? What do I have to do to get through to a person's know-it-all? Or a per 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 I don't know that word. Okay. Oh man, that'll take forever. You brought it upon yourself. Speaking of which, how the heck did Palum and Porum get back alive? Look, seriously, like, 
They must have had soft, actually. You lack the discipline and effort and manner. Enough already! I ask you a few suggestions on self-improvement, and you rattle yourself off full-blown desertion! Or disseration. What? I haven't even started. Next, your female companions leave something to be desired. What's wrong with women? I have to- I happen to like women! That's not what I meant. You accidentally bump into every pretty girl you see, and to get convulsions when one bends over to pick something up. Okay, okay, I'll settle down. Please do so for a change. God, this goes, like, way too fast. I can't even read. Oh, damn. <laughs> Edge. Why you do this? Young master! Yeah. Oh, come on. Let him think about Rydia. Come on. And speaking of which, she's an incredible girl. I never thought she'd come this far. Hey, Rydia. How come I got fangs and you don't? I wish I was like you. For real. What are you talking about? Humans and phantom beasts both have the ability to love and care about others. So you see, we're not really that different. Our world will be interesting from now on, don't you think? Yes, and I can't read. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to read this. Nope. So I'll let you read it by yourself. <laughs> yep, you got that right. Yep, ain't that right, me? Yes, it is true. By the way, enjoy this uh, Nobuo Uematsu uh, thing, because that's going to go on for like a while. Yeah, again, they did this on the Super Nintendo, so yeah. And yes... I suppose they're going to be king and queen from now on, I suppose, because the king has died. Well, we're assuming he's dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. Former king. What do you mean, country man? It's country women, too. They're not all boys, dude. And yeah, this is literally showing everybody. Like, this is Proto Majora's Mask stuff here. Like, they're showing everyone's ending, like... Everyone's getting, like, this sort of ending. Prince! Sing us another song about the Paladin! Not until you're finished with today's work. Don't you want to rebuild our castle? Aw, oh, man, but there are no more monsters! Yep, that's what he did. That's what I did. You don't want your mommies and daddies to get sick and dying. Yeah, that's a way to... <laughs> okay, that's a way to, like, tell your kids, like, you don't want your kid... You don't want your parents to be s sick and dying, do you? Well, get to work. That's gotta be, like, the... That's gotta be, like, the, uh... Weirdest excuse to, like, get your kids to work. Yep, everyone but Tella made it back here alive. No, Tella didn't survive from exploding. He was already dead. Well then go to the surface then. Scrap the tanks. <laughs> yep, that's what we do, just scrap the tanks. But then the attack comes in. Fuck! <laughs> yes, what about Cecil, sir? These greetings, eh? Sir Cecil's ascending the throne and taking Rosa as his queen. Yay, they're getting married! Quit lollygagging. Yeah, quit lollygagging indeed. Damn it, I already told you to destroy the tanks! Cecil, Rosa, forgive me once more. I cannot attend. And yeah.
Can this finale hurry up? <laughs> yep, we're already like 35 minutes into the video and it's still going. Well, that's what you expect in a Final Fantasy game. Don't blame it on me. Blame Sakaguchi. Actually, don't blame Sakaguchi. He, he's a man. Anyway, that was pl let's play Final Fantasy 4 and oh my god. That final boss, though. <laughs> Like, well, aside from the final boss, I do think this is a really well done game, and the very reason why everyone should start the Final Fantasy series. Start with this one, because it's not, like, complex like all the other, like, current Final Fantasies are. It's old-school RPG style, plus it's for the Super Nintendo, <laughs> and as we all know, 16-bit have the best RPGs of all time. According to people, like number six, for instance, uh, Chrono Trigger, Earthbound, a whole bunch of them. Apparently, according to people, I have not completed like those, the latter two. But uh, yeah, for Final Fantasy standards back then, this was clearly the best one back then because it just like what they did with the Super Nintendo and everything. It's just great, and it'll only get better and better as you know, 5 and 6 come out for the Super Nintendo as well. And yeah, Koji Kondo is there too. <laughs> Mr. Spackle. Yep, Mr. Spackle. And J2E translations did it. And now we're going to be going into the J2E staff. And yes, that is, the, that is indeed the project leader's name. Or screen name. Yep. <laughs> yep, for children. And yay, Radio translated the game. Hooray. Trains Potter. Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah. Aside from like some bosses being like really tough, stow top. <laughs> um, aside some from some bosses being really tough and kinda maybe to the point of being unfair Zeromas. I think this is a really fantastic Final Fantasy game to start off on. Sephiroth. Yep. Sephiroth. Before he even existed in number seven. Yep. You'll feel like an idiot once you do. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically a website where you can go ahead and download J2E translations of things. Yep. But, uh, you know, as for the Let's Play itself, I really did enjoy this one. Aside from, well, this video, because this one is, like, the hardest to make because of, you know, Zeromas and stuff. But the rest was really fun to make, and I can't wait to do another one. I have no idea which one I should do next. Probably, like, six or something. Jump ahead to six, but... <laughs> but I have other Let's Plays to do before then, so, yeah. And that is Final Fantasy IV in a nutshell, folks. Now, as for the next one, for the next Let's Play, I have no idea what to do. Either I should do the new one and familiar one both, or just go ahead with the familiar one before moving on to the new one. I'll probably decide in like a week or two if I should do it, but yeah. As for what's coming, what, as for what's coming up next in this week... I will promise you the MacFest and Anime USA vlogs will be up like sometime this week. I promise you. If you're really waiting on those things. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. That's about it. I will see you guys whenever stuff will happen. And remember, you can always talk to me on Twitter if you ever need someone to talk to because I'm just that supportive. Anyway, that huge scream at Jezero almost really took it out of me, so I'm going to go ahead and edit this right now before I have to put up tomorrow. Anyway, I will see you guys on the next time. See you later.